Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2, and I'm sorry for my voice. I kind of have a little bit of a sinus infection. I might sneeze, I might cough, I might clear my throat a little bit more than I normally do. So you'll just have to put up with that. I got a little bit of like sinus pressure and things going on, but uh, not bad enough where I couldn't do stuff today for the Texas Gun Vault. I had today off. And was able to get a lot of stuff done. I had to go back to the range, as I mentioned, filmed the range footage for the Beretta 21A. In fact, I just got done filming the range report out here in the garage with this. And the video right now is actually inside rendering. So Richard, who lent this to the channel, should be getting both the field strip and the range report video on this. Uh, shortly. I, I actually thought this video was going to be about 20 to 25 minutes and it turned out to be like 33. Had a lot more to say about it than I thought I did. I'm really surprised that when I do range reports, um, the length of time when everything gets edited is pretty consistent. I used to do about 22 to 25 minute range reports and lately because I do things like the uh, uh, trigger gauge, and uh, the things that I talk about, they're about 30 minutes now. So I know they're really long form re uh, reviews. And some people like that, some people don't. Uh, so it just kind of depends uh, on your style. I still get, get comments all the time with people saying that uh, I'm too long winded, but I always reply to those comments and say, you know, there's lots of people out there that do short form stuff, just quick to the point, blow up a couple of pumpkins, <laughs> you know, and move on. And there's other people that, you know, don't do that, like myself. And I'm glad that everybody has different options. You know, if you just want to have that, uh, you know, three second, you know, sorry, not, not three second video, three minute video, of just this is the gun, shoot, boom, 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 boom. This is what's awesome about go, yeah, and that's it. It's great. Your attention span is that short and you want to move on, great. Um, but I always say that I want to create content on my channel that I want to watch. And I like the long form stuff, like... Uh, I always go back to like Paul Harrell. You know, Paul Harrell just makes videos that I really, really like um, in his format. Uh, it was just him talking and he would go on, uh, a lot of data. Uh, I used to watch a guy named, uh, was it Tennessee Outdoors 9, I think it was? He hasn't produced a lot of content lately, but I used to like his ammo reviews and things. And it was kind of long form with data, very procedural. And that's just why I make the video content that I do. I know it's not for everybody. Uh, but I took this to the range and uh, had the same experiences I had uh, with it a couple days ago. Just a great overall gun. Uh, I will spoil the review a little bit for you. Uh, the gun gets very, very, very high marks, but the magazine gets very low marks. I don't think these magazines are uh, very good. In fact, I'll show you the main problem I have with it. Now, normally I don't have ammunition out here when I film, but I had to do it for this range report. So I'm going to show you a problem with this magazine, and I'm curious if you guys uh, experience the same thing if you have one of these uh, Breda 21A pistols. So these uh, 22 long rifle magazines, I think they're supposed to hold seven. However, on this gun, you can comfortably put in eight. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the eighth one easily goes in there, like with no problem whatsoever. Looks like it would feed, right? So there you go, looks like everything's normal. But when you insert the magazine, there is no way that thing will ever go in because that follower and that spring is already compressed fully. You, you cannot get it in. So that's weird to me that you can put eight in the magazine comfortably, you know, not really forcing it, but it should only hold seven. And I can see how people would make a mistake when they're loading their magazines, potentially need the mag, insert it, and can't get it in. And then throughout the range report, I would consistently have rounds that would not feed from the magazine. It was not the gun's fault. I think it was the uh, magazine's fault. So Beretta needs to, uh, in my opinion, redo this. Um, but the gun's great. Gun's accurate. Uh, so let me go ahead and unload this magazine here real fast. Of course, there's no ammunition in it again, and put it back in the gun. So that's what I experienced with that. But yeah, it was a 33-minute range report, I think. In fact, I can tell you as I'm looking at the screen here on my phone, Richard, who lent this to the channel, just messaged me. So I have no idea what he's saying, but I have to get back to him as soon as I get done. 
with this. Now, the other gun I took to the range is kind of a surprise because it's one of those guns that you go to the range and you go, I already know I'm going to like it. I shot one of the larger versions of this gun. And I'm like, you know, this is going to be a fun experience. It's going to be super easy because the gun is high quality and reliable and accurate. And then you shoot it and it exceeds your expectations. I love it when I go to the range and I have one of those experiences. Um, and that is exactly what this puppy did. This is the Noveski Space Baby. I think technically on the receiver, it's the Space Invader, but it's that like K version. So it's the short version. And... Yeah, this thing is freaking awesome. This thing is awesome for being such a short barrel. Uh, this is, of course, a braced pistol, which, of course, we have the brace uh, or the brace injunction right now, so it's completely legal for me to shoot and film. Uh, this thing is incredible. Now, the only complaint I could possibly have about this thing is that it doesn't have a locking system, so the recoil is a little bit, you know, more than like an MP5 or a SIG MPX, which are much smoother shooting guns. So this one has a little bit of a little bit more kick for nine millimeter, but dang, is this thing accurate? Can you shoot this thing fast? The trigger in it's awesome. Um, I love this magazine release, this paddle release here at the bottom. I love that. And take a look at this Cerakote job on this thing, this camo. Normally, I don't really care for the camo looks, but this thing honestly does it for me. This thing is awesome. And I believe this particular version was done in conjunction with a company called, oh, they have a logo here. It's, is it, I think it's a silly name. I think it's called like Warm and Fuzzy, but, uh, this thing is just awesome. Uh, Noveski is an incredible, incredible manufacturer. Normally, I don't like the uh, billet receivers, but these are awesome. I will tell you, a Space Invader of some kind is on my want list. And this is one of those guns that, after shooting this particular variant, I want it so bad. You know, There's been a few guns that I have reviewed, and the people that lend me guns know the ones that I'll you know ask them about and go... If you ever sell it, let me know. And this is probably going to be one of those guns that I'm going to tell D, who lent it to the channel, hey, if you ever decide you don't want this thing, let me have first shot at it. Because this thing is incredible. This thing was so much fun. Uh, this acro uh, aim point on it is great. Uh, for me, I think the amount is a little bit too high. But... Yeah, this thing is just this thing is just awesome. It is just awesome, and it'd be great as an SBR because you could have a little bit longer uh, length of pull on this. Uh, so when you fire this, it's more like a like a was it a PDW kind of a personal de defense weapon. I mean, it's it's kind of long, but it's still you're kind of I can see myself in the film there. Yeah, it's it's you're still kind of hunched over a little bit. It's it's not a very long length of pull, but that's just because of the brace. Uh, so I really would like a stock on this. So this thing is just awesome. I haven't done the range report yet on it, but my experience with it is just awesome. And it's just like the other uh, Space Invader that I reviewed, but I think I like this one even more, and I didn't think I would like it as much as the other one. So uh, those are the two guns I shot today. And then uh, what else did I do today? I, uh, I did some boring stuff. I got an update. Um, my trademark and... Uh, uh, application has been sent to the government for uh, the, the, the Texas gun vault. So I'm excited about that because I talked to my lawyer today because my wife and I had to go do our estate planning. Man, I'm telling you, it kind of sucks. You know, I'm 43 years old and uh, you have to contemplate uh, mortality and death and what's going to happen to all your stuff. And uh, um, so my, my attorney is also big into like NFA stuff. So, uh, he looked at my gun trust, which I have a gun trust for like seven of my like 40 NFA items. And I got it back when you needed like the, the chief law enforcement signature. Uh, but he's going to totally like revamp and redo it. Uh, and so we're going to fix that, I, I guess, and make things a little bit easier and kind of figure out, uh, who gets all my guns. But that's going to be kind of, kind of fun and interesting. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about is, I think I have mentioned in the past, but one of the people, and it's kind of funny, as you go through life, you don't realize the connections and the people you may actually know, because you might not talk to them about their jobs or whatever, but one of the gentlemen that runs in one of my social circles, not like the gun circle, not like the music circle, but in one of my social circles, uh, 
that my wife and I run in, um, we were talking about guns one day. Uh, and he's like, well, you know, I, I just bought Guns America. I'm like, you what? Like, he is a big time investor and firearms enthusiast. And I want to say he's the, I can't remember, he, I don't know if he's, I don't think he's the CEO technically, but he is the, um, is it the CFO, I think is what it is? Chief Financial Officer of Guns America, but they bought it. You guys know what, what Guns America is. And it's based here in Dallas now. And they bought it and they're and they're building it and they have all these affiliations with all these different companies. So he messaged me a couple days ago and said, hey, I got something I think you might be interested, um, uh, interested in. I said, sure. And uh, he sent me, I guess this is a Dallas-based company called Vulcan, and they make these cases. And this is an all-weather case, and it's made of a rubber material. So this isn't like a nylon material you typically see on many of the cases. Even the zipper, I can show you here kind of close, it's waterproof. Like everything about this is waterproof. It's a very attractive case. Um, and so they sent me one. And it's really nice, and I think I'm going to test this out. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, do a kind of a product review on it. I'm going to show some different rifles in it. But I think what I'm going to do is like put some like paper towels or things in the case. And I think I'm going to go outside and like hose it down and see how waterproof the thing actually is. Because I can tell you that this material is very different than the materials of every other case I own. And so... I think this thing is definitely going to be waterproof. And I think a case like this is excellent for people that are hunters or people that go out in, you know, acclimate weather, uh, people that are going to be uh, in wet environments and rainy environments. Uh, this thing is, is pretty cool. It's, it's a nice case. It's really kind of weird because of the material. At first, you're like, that. It just you're just not used to it. I'm so used to those cases with that different material and that fabric. Uh, and this is very rubberized, very rubberized. So um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Chris for sending this to me. And I guess they have an affiliation with Vulcan. And so I want to uh, review this. And I said give a shout out to him. So hopefully you guys will uh, see me review this. And I'm just curious, have you guys ever dealt with this company or a case like this? What do you think? And do you have any ideas on, besides just kind of hosing it down, uh, how you think I should test it and just to kind of show on camera what it does and uh, just kind of, you know, talk about it. So anyway, that's uh, what I got going on. Uh, that's pretty much it for Garage Gun Talk tonight. Uh, I've been so busy today that um, I didn't really check gun news, so I don't know if anything big has gone on. Uh, the only thing I did kind of personal kind of playtime today was uh, I got on my radio today and I actually made my first contact in Canada on uh, 10 meters. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm an amateur radio operator. And I recently, let's see if I can move my camera here. I recently moved one of my main radios out here, here to the garage. So I got my uh, Yaesu FT991A. And um, my wife kind of is annoyed with me right now because I got, you know, the coax running down the wall here, out the garage door. I got some running up to the house. I have a, my uh, two meter antenna on top of the house it's like up like 30 feet and i got a big cable right it's anyway so and also got like a six meter dipole antenna i got to install and anyway so i got antennas on the on the um the fence and all that but um i i'm fascinated by amateur radio and i've talked about it about it before but i made my first contact in canada i've made it to costa rica um but I don't think I'll be able to get across the ocean right now with as low as my antenna is. Hopefully one day when we sell the house and I can get a, a nice tower, I'll be able to make it to like Japan or England or something. But so far, North and South America are just what I can reach. But um, I, was, I was really happy, happy about that. So sometimes when I'm out here working in, in, uh, in the garage, I'll uh, run the radio and see what's, uh, what's going on. It's nighttime right now, so... Uh, my antenna right now, which is set up for, 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 for 10 meters, doesn't really do well at night. Uh, 10, uh, 10 meters is more of a band for the daytime, but I can listen to 2 meters and all that. And uh, I, don't, I don't think anything's usually going on right now. Maybe, maybe not. But I'll be out here. Wait, here's something. Let's see what we got here. That's great. Thank you. 
Thank you. See, 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 there you go. One of the local repeaters is active. Yeah, if I can just get my wife to take see, her exam. There you go. Great. So that's actually what I do out here a lot. So when I'm out here working on guns, cleaning guns, preparing for videos, I got my radio on and uh, trying to talk to the world. So uh, it's a great hobby. If you're not into it, um, but you're interested in radio and that kind of stuff, seems like magic. It still seems like magic to me. Uh, the, the, the way it works, I understand. I understand the physics. Um, but it's, it's still magic that I could just be out here and scanning the airwaves and I'll hear somebody and like today was, uh, Montreal and, uh, made, uh, made contact with them. So it's just so much fun. But anyway, that, that's all that I did for, uh, fun today. Uh, but then everything else was just work, shooting guns, you know, and, and that is something about, about what I do that sometimes I don't think people understand is that, and it's not bad. I'm, I'm in no way am I complaining. Um, but being a YouTuber and being a gun vaulter <laughs> and gun reviewer, sometimes it's like a job. I mean, it is fun. It is fun. Uh, but it is a job because I'm always working on having to do everything to what I think is as high of a quality as I can produce by myself. So always worried about that. Um, having to take extra time to make sure everything gets done right and, and so forth, um, but yeah, it is what it is. So anyway, that's all I got from the garage tonight. I uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful evening, and thank you as all for are always for joining me out here. Thanks for for putting up with my runny nose. And uh, the space baby from Noveski is awesome. It's amazing. And uh, Richard, I know you watch these. You'll be getting the video um, for the. Beretta 21A here pretty soon. So anyway, that's all I got for you tonight. Hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. And the word of the day. Oh, that's right. The word of the day. Uh, the word of the day is space. Because I love the space baby. Space. So you space it in your comments somewhere. And I know you made it to the end. So as always, thanks for watching.